Check, check. One, two. Just listen to some Tim Maya. You know Tim Maya, Brazilian guy? Whoa. Please comment if you can hear me okay. Mic working? Check one. Okay. Here we go. Check. Can everyone hear me okay? Awesome. Okay. I had a little brain glitch there. It was showing zero viewers. I was wondering what was going on. So if you saw a bit of a deer in a headlights look, that's why. I'm doing this thing on, it's called StreamYard. So it's a little nicer than the YouTube studio one. And uh, maybe it doesn't update quite as quickly as the other one, the regular chat thing. So anyways, bear with me. I hope this all works. Hope everyone's doing good. Whoa, I think it's working. I think the numbers just jumped. It just jumped from like five years to 344. So hey, Shirak out in the Pacific Northwest. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I got this whole new thing on StreamYard and you can put people's comments up. So yeah, it's awesome. What's up? Pura Vida, Valkyria. Awesome. What's up, Johnny Vizzle? Big up to everyone. Hope you're having a good Thanksgiving weekend if you're in the States. Here in Canada, just a regular weekend day, eh? but I figured I'd chill out on a little Friday night and yeah, do a, do a live chat thing. So I'm glad everyone can hear me. What's up, Chris? Chris in Brooklyn, greetings. Big up Mr. Kikiebu, if I said that properly. What's up, Padna? Birmingham, Alabama. That's a good name. Yeah, this is awesome. It, uh, it appears to be working very well. So, yeah, if you don't know, there's a couple new videos out. There's a Wicked Hike one that Moko Ratti and Sunrise Boss, Jason and I did up to Moko's farm called Higher Heights. So that just came out today. So please give that a, a watch. And I put up a video about our high man being sale. So if you see the graphic for this, Broadcast. It's designed by my friend John Cut, aka the High Road Design. I'm going to put everything in the show notes below on Instagram. But he's an amazing artist. He did this wicked graphic of Moko with High Man Being spelled out in smoke, him wearing his tan. So uh, it's 20% off everything in the store all weekend. So the links are right down there below. And the other thing is the uh i got a print to give away so my friend and mentor josh cole who is a first nations artist he lives way up in northern british columbia in the mountains super remote but he's been painting for like 60 years or something like that and he did a few things of uh of moko and ratty so if you sign up to the email list just click show more below and we're gonna give away one of the prints. Now, I only have one of them here. You can check out the other ones in the store, but we normally sell them for $250. I think I mark them down $100. And the original paintings are there too, if you're interested. And uh, Josh has asked that the income from those original paintings go to Duret and Ratti. So if you want to get a wicked painting, that's it. But this is the print you can win. They're all signed and numbered. Uh, big up to Josh Cole. I'm going to do my best not to get my fingers all over it because it's all tied up and ready to go, but they're all signed. He's a very well-known artist here in Canada. And uh, yeah, check it out in the store under the prints part. So it's wicked. So please just sign up on the email list below. There's a link. Click show more. You just put your first name, last name, email, and someone's going to win one of these awesome prints they're limited edition he only made 25 of these and like i said they're all signed and stuff so i'm going to get it back into its home here oh keep it careful yeah this is rad 460 people watching very cool so yeah what's everyone up to for thanksgiving hopefully you're able to chill with your families in this weird ass time 
Um, what did I even do for Thanksgiving? Yeah, we had a pretty mellow one. No, I was in quarantine. I was in Jamaica and I came home. I was in quarantine. So I, I couldn't do anything for Thanksgiving. But hopefully in the States, you guys are doing all right. Jammin is asking me, please do a video of how Moko does his spliffs. There's a video about this. I think we called it like a 420 how to roll a spliff. You know, I've tried to do one of these tutorials with Moko so many times, <clears throat> but it seems like when he's in the mood to blaze a spliff, he's not really interested in talking you through it. So I, I've honestly tried a whole bunch of times. So I, uh, I wish I could, but, and sorry if I miss your comment, it kind of scrolls pretty quick sometimes, but we'll do the best. What's up, Shaylee? Big up Chris in Calgary. Maddie Cape Cod got the fire, bro. Are you talking about herb? Cape Cod herb? I know a guy, guess not in Cape Cod, but he's on the East Coast in Maine. Big up to Blood Guy Brand, aka Brandon. He's a wicked grower. Met him in Jamaica. What's up, Devin? Big up Razor. Everyone in Trinidad, much respect. Whoa, I'm missing all the comments. Big up Splat Babylon. Thanks for donating. Respect to you. It's so wicked. Sagittarius is partying. Hopefully you're enjoying the partying. Roger, Matt, did I smoke that ganja I grew in my homeland? I did. And I grew some more this year. I'm going to put the video on my other channel. So if you haven't seen my other channel, you can check it out. Um, I'll put a link down in the show notes there too. Earthly Eats. It's currently called Earthly Eats. And I keep thinking I'm going to change the name, but then I don't do anything. And then I don't end up posting videos and I'm like years behind of content. So yeah, check out my other channel. The link is, uh, is right there. Big up. Deaton Drick. This is a much better way, isn't it? Where I can post up the comments. I want to shout out to Noah Kagan. If you haven't seen Noah Kagan's channel, he's a entrepreneurship guy, seven figure founder, pretty badass, and get a lot of good information and tutorials on starting a business, doing a side hustle, doing email lists, marketing, kind of anything to do with business. So much respect to my friend Noah Kagan. And uh, he had me on the podcast on his podcast, I guess, about a year and a half ago. So uh, you can check that out. And he did a video with us actually too on his YouTube channel. So check out Noah Kagan Presents. It's a wicked one. Keeping, keeping up with Cali, how come Durrett doesn't have shoes? Durrett doesn't have shoes. You got to ask her. She doesn't really wear shoes. You're right. Big up to GJ Gregas. Respect to you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. Thank you so much to everyone. That's always a surprise to me when this show got any kind of traction at all. Because if you know the story, uh, the first seven years, we did not have a whole lot going on with views. We had less than 10,000 subscribers after seven years. So I'm as shocked as anyone that we we're at this point right now. I'm just drinking some mint tea. Not from Jamaica, actually, but shoes suck. They do. You know what? When I lived in Australia, I would never wear shoes. Not never. I'd wear them to go skate or hike and that kind of thing. But I think there was an experiment I did one month where I did not wear shoes the entire month. Because in Australia, you go to the grocery store, you don't have to wear shoes. Uh, gas station, you don't have to wear shoes anywhere in the Gold Coast. So I don't know if it's still like that. I lived there 10 years ago, but it was pretty pretty awesome. Kavita Dreams, we Caribbean people love to be barefoot. Amen. I definitely feel you on that. William. William in Mexico. Big up, William Cordova. Much respect, sir. Always nice to see you. Roger. Oh, big up. Big up from Hawaii. 808 Hawaii. Wicked, wicked. Oh, I'm missing... Jake, more skate videos coming. The other one was class. Thanks, man. I just kind of do some kooky self-filming as an old guy. I'm almost 40. 
but it's still fun to skate and, you know, try to relearn stuff you used to do. I actually did a backside kickflip today and I have not done a backside kickflip in 20 years and I'm not even kidding. So that was pretty fun. First King, am I recognized by fans in Toronto? Not often, maybe a handful of times, maybe 10 times in my life. Not much. Jamaica is a different story, but not much in Toronto. Whole Beast Coast 47 fucks with Rasta Kitchen. Yes. <laughs> Yo, Beast Coast. I like that. That's a good one. Jake, no shoes keep you connected to the earth. I honestly believe that. You might say, oh, that sounds kind of hippy dippy, but there's something to be said for walking through a forest or on the beach or on the earth with uh, without shoes. I just saw a, com or a comment from Hawaii. Sean, big up from Molokai. Sean, I hear in Hawaii, you don't wear shoes outside and you definitely don't wear slippers in the house. That's what I've heard. Big up Wayne Young in London. Andy Moore, 40 is the new 30. I definitely agree with that, thankfully. I don't feel old at all. I don't know. I might look older, but what's up? Marsha or Marcia, Brampton in the house. Big up Brampton. I heard there's some really good Jamaican restaurants over there. I haven't had the chance to, to check out yet. What's up in Russia? Cyrus, get higher heights started ASAP. Yeah, I wish we could call up Moko, but I tried him today. I wasn't able to connect. Is V, best channel on YouTube, been watching since Calvin Klein hat done hats? Yeah. If you watch all the older videos, Moko had a wicked tam that he made out of some Calvin Klein underwear. Or Calvin Klein used to make orange tams that looked a lot like underwear. You decide. What's up, bright eyes? How was my stay through the pandemic? It was it was nice. It was pretty awesome. Uh, the cases weren't that bad. There's a curfew till eight o'clock. So there wasn't any going out, but I don't do a whole lot of that anyway. Got to see a bunch of my friends. I chilled with the family for two weeks straight. I don't I normally don't stay in the yard that long straight, but we had a pretty wicked time. Saw my friend Peta at Long Border, did checked out the new skate park in uh, there's a bull out in Boston Bay, and there is a wicked new skate park called the Freedom Skate Park in Bull Bay. So that was pretty great. Ralston Haley. I would love to see you meet up with, with Irie YouTuber. She seems pretty cool. I don't know Irie YouTuber. I got to check that out. Oh, this delicious mint tea. Mm -hmm. So the young man from the DMV by way of Detroit. You cool, bro. You're cool, Kenneth. Big up to you. I uh, I need to spend more time in Detroit. You know, it's not that far from us. I used to work in Windsor a lot. I was a door-to-door -door salesman and I'd travel all around the province here. And I'd work in Windsor and on my days off, I would go to Detroit and explore Detroit and check out skate parks and just, yeah, kind of explore. Went to uh, Eight Mile just to see Eminem's old neighborhood, you know, as someone who doesn't know anything about Detroit, this is the kind of thing that you do. Big up Mohib, assalamu alaikum, assalamu alaikum to you. Much respect. First King, when does the next season start? You know, I kind of call it seasons, but I guess it's all kind of just runs together. So I guess I kind of consider the year as a season. So 2020 stuff I'm still putting out and I guess that's season six. So maybe I need to rejig my season things. Ben, am I going to drop a video about Mako's new house he built? I, I have that one. I wanted to put that out and I usually take really good notes on the footage, but for some reason, I don't know where that video is right now. So it's in the pile. It's going to come out and his new house is awesome. But uh, yeah. I don't, it's going to come out soon. I guess I'll say that. Marsha, what's up with, oh, I just had a funny comment from Marsha. Hey, what's up with your jaw? It looks swollen. Does it look swollen? Maybe just because I have a beard. It makes your face look fatter.
Herbert, how can we make sure that people who want to donate actually do donate? I would have. These are interesting comments. If you want to donate, go for it. Everything goes to them. But because of comments like this, I'm less interested in promoting donations or anything because it's a huge pain, really. So you're welcome to find his number and figure out how to transfer or do world remit or get bank deal tells and that kind of thing. You're welcome to do that. Um, there's a lot better things to do with my time than stealing other people's donations, you know? So big up rainstorm in Sicily, much respect. I got to do a documentary, a world war two documentary where we retrace the steps of allied soldiers from when they entered in Sicilia in the South and where they tracked through uh, the whole island. So that was a wicked project I got to do years and years ago. I guess 2013, I did that one. That was rad. Susan Rogers, when I moved to Otter, Ontario, Waterloo, I had to start wearing shoes. And now I have a war doctor told you to take off your shoes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, take them off. You can walk in the streets. My girlfriend always thinks I'm crazy when I'm walking barefoot especially in the city. Uh, but what, when I used to live in, not live in Brazil, but I'd spent a lot of time in Brazil, we'd walk around Rio de Janeiro barefoot all the time too. You don't wear shoes. You go to the beach, you don't wear shoes. That's just how it was. So yeah. Big up Alexis from Rambo in the UK. What's up, Keneal? LeBlunt, James, why don't soldiers make skate parks for other countries? I didn't know soldiers made skate parks. Philip, is Kupi Moko-san? Yes, he is. Big up Lucas Lima from Brazil. I love Brazil. Got a bunch of friends there. That was kind of my first big international travel when I was younger. Spent a lot of time in Rio. I think I've probably almost spent a year in total in Brazil. I did first four months and I liked it so much. The next year I went back three months and then it was rad. Yo, Mr. Tabuhi, come back to NZ. We'll smoke some eels and cook mussels on corrugated iron. Yes. You know what I miss is diving for those power. I miss the power. Oh my gosh. Love power, man. Check out Mr. Tabuhi. Hey, Put your link in the in the page here for your music. Mr. Tapui's music has been in the show before. It's wicked. What's up, Alan? Big up. Hope to see you back in Jamaica. Yes, sir. I'll be back soon for sure. No doubt. Ah, almost 600 and it is. No doubt. It's wild. Shout out to Gloucester. Where was Gloucester? I just tried to post that content. Ah, oh, I missed it. I'll try and find that Gloucester comment. I'm not sure what that says, but it's a beautiful script, whatever it is. Looks wicked. Pick up to Nolan Swim Team, Australia. Where in Australia are you guys? Donna Coker, do I speak Patois when I'm back home? I speak Patois usually on the phone. Uh, not so much with Moko, but with Koopy and the girls. I usually try and uh, practice my Patois. Big up Janice Ming. Stev likes beef. Mm, me too. How's Rass Kitchen during through the pandemic? You guys still working on stuff? Yeah, we just shot a whole ton ton of stuff. I just got back about a month ago. So there's so much new stuff and I need to get it out there a little quicker. We've been doing kind of one episode a week, but we're going to start doing a, a lot more. So yeah, it's going to be awesome. Big up Keneal. Big up Chanel. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you're having a good Friday night. What's up, Sienna? UK. Enough people in the UK tuning in. It's awesome. 
God sinister. Why don't I breed my own chickens on the yard? <clears throat> well, there's a few, a few reasons. Chickens. I don't know if you've had chickens before, but when you have them in a coop, they stink and no one wants that stink right on the yard, you know? So yeah, no chickens for me. Although I did actually purchase a goat. So I'm a proud goat owner. Her name's Kelly. And Koopy and Ratty and Durette take care of Kelly for me. And uh, maybe I'll have some more goats if everything goes well. Yeah, someday. Yeah. So no chickens, just, just the goats. ZF, can't wait for new content. Love your editing, by the way. Any chance we can get retro design on a tank top? Uh, yeah, I should do that. I wonder if I did that. I guess I didn't do that if you're asking me. Well, yeah, I, I can put it on a tank top. The reason there weren't tank tops in the store before is I, I had some and I get the samples before I put them in the store. And I, I just found this, the fit was weird. It was kind of really boxy and wide and it kind of, it just wasn't very good quality. So I switched to an American apparel one made in USA and they seem a lot nicer. So I can definitely put it on the vintage uh, shirt, It'd be cool. Big up, Big Daddy D, LA in the house. Man, some cool names on here. <laughs> Cheers, Little Rabbit. What are you drinking, Little Rabbit? I'm just drinking some tea, some lovely tea. Oh. I saw a comment about Canada. Where in Canada am I from? I'm from, where am I? Here, Omar. What's up, Omar? I'm not too far from you. I'm just in Toronto. Very close, big up to the 905 from the 416. Ashar Films, check out Rask Kitchen on Reddit. Cool, I haven't seen it yet. Matthew, too many people online for you to make a difference. Many people chatting, waff. Isn't that the truth? Ichigo, will Moko and fam visit you in Canada one day? I, it would be awesome, but they don't have passports. I keep telling Moko, get a passport, get a passport, but he hasn't done it yet, so it's really up to him. Oh, big up Uncle Nesta. Hey, Mr. Facey. Yes, sir. In Chicago, if I'm not mistaken, it's pretty good. It was a nice day today, you know, and uh, I'm going to play some poker online with my crew tonight so i got a poker game 9 30 and i'm feeling good today i feel like i'm gonna win so i'll i'll keep you updated with that what's up dylan big up to all my canadian canadian friends it's awesome favorite weed story oh my gosh zach give me one second uh i, I do have a good weed story i'm trying to find uncle nesta's comment where did it go there he is. Big up. Big up, Uncle Nesta. It's funny how on these YouTube live shows and the comments, you get to kind of know people. So I definitely know Uncle Nesta from seeing the comments over years and years. So much of respect. Hi, man being. Yes, yes. Yes, indeed. Big up. Janice Ming. There's another name I recognize. Love your vibes in Jamaica. You just fit in feel the vibes is Jamaica is your second home. Thank you very much. I feel very at home there. It's year 10 going to Jamaica and I made some really good friendships and relationships there. And I think that's what it's about when you travel, right? It's all about making real friends, not just kind of dip in and out. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Love it. Big up Anselm Simangal. Big up Trinidad. I really want to do, and let me know, everyone, let me know what you think. I want to keep doing Ras Kitchen, obviously, but I want to expand and spend some more time with different um, Rastas and seeing how they cook. So um, my friend Peter was saying, yeah, man, you got to check out all these different Rastas in different places because his mom's from Trinidad. He says, man, there's some wicked different Rasta, but Trini style cooking that you should try and get. 
So I thought, yeah, you know what? What a great excuse to go to Trinidad and get some different type of content on the show in addition to what we're doing already, but that would be wicked. Music Mad, what's up? How are you? Just Martin, DJ Just One, Eglinton and Oakwood. I drive by your neighborhood all the time because I'm just by kind of Bathurst station area. So that's a wicked neighborhood. A lot of Caribbean influence in that neighborhood. I hope that construction is done soon. Oh my gosh, it's been going on. I don't know, is it like eight years straight or something? I feel for you guys over there with all that all that construction. You know, I was thinking today, DJ just won, is that I saw Maddie Matheson, who's this amazing chef from Canada. If you know him, you might have seen him, seen him on Vice before, but he's got a great YouTube show. But he actually bought a billboard in the city for his YouTube channel called Just a Dash. And I thought, man, wouldn't that be hilarious if I made a, a Ross Kitchen billboard and put it at like Eglinton and Oakwood area? It'd be awesome. Anyhow, hockey team. I'm a terrible Canadian. I know nothing about hockey, so... Uh, hockey team, I will say whatever team my buddy Evan plays on, he plays with his bros in Wellington, Ontario. So Evan, a.k.a. Nash Dog, Wellington, Ontario hockey team. That's my favorite one. Sean, any plans on a long Rouse Kitchen beanie for long hair people? That'd be cool. I'm talking about getting some Tams, too. Janet Bird, is Toronto on lockdown? It's weird. They say it's a lockdown. Like we can go everywhere. I don't know why they're calling it a lockdown. It's just restaurants are closed other than pick up non-essential businesses like um, barbers or hair salon, tanning, or what else would we consider like little retail shops. But you know, everything else is open, you know, hardware stores and banks and uh, food. So I don't know. It's not really a lockdown. I think it's weird, weird stuff they're doing with the, the words they're using because you can go out anywhere. I can travel anywhere. Who knows? LeBlunt James, check out Rasp Pantry. Okay, I will. Just DJoy, those guys from Ireland still beside them. They're actually from Scotland. Uh, they do still have the property. I was talking with Wani a little bit on Instagram today. He's got a new album out. Oh, I should share Wani's album too. It's pretty wicked. There's some crazy tracks on it. His name's Yah is real. And uh, yeah, check out Yah is real. I'm going to share Wani's music because I'd heard a bit of it, but I, I heard a killer track today. Oh, this is my YouTube channel here, I think. This is Wani. AKA Yah is real. That's Moko's neighbor. Big up Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn. Got to make it to Brooklyn sometime. Haven't done it yet. First King, Moko doesn't fuck with AC. Oh, I do. I love air conditioning and I especially love air conditioning in Jamaica and when we're doing a road trip or something to Montego Bay and you're in the car four hours with no air con, it's just, <laughs> it's death. Oh, big up Khalid or Khalid, fella Torontonio, big up. Hopefully I'll see you around the city. What's up, Ronnie? I'm doing good. How are you? Oh, just scrolling down to comments. When am I going to Haiti? I have never been to Haiti. I would love to go to Haiti. Whoa. Time out. <laughs> Too many comments. Excuse me while you kiss the sky. Yes, Mr. Tapui. Do I know Mike Clattenburg? I don't know Mike Clattenburg. Hey, Elvis, I was in Jamaica for a few weeks, and did I get lots of footed? I don't know what that means. 
Pick up Alan, more blessings for this channel. Keep up the good works and constant release of content. Only way is up from here. Also wondering if the banana seed grew. You know what? He didn't plant it yet. I know. Got these Hawaiian banana seeds off Amazon called the ice cream banana. They grow blue and they taste like ice cream. And I was really hoping that Moko would uh, plant them and grow some wicked ice cream banana, but not yet. Big up Aquarius and Virgin Islands. What's up, Greg Collins, Malvern? Malvern on the east side of the city, is that right? If you're talking about GTA. Big up Campbell, thanks for donating. Shouts from the area. Ooh, e Fowdy. <laughs> My friends and I uh, have a thing with talking in an E40 voice. I don't know how it happened, but to this day, for like 15, 20 years, when you call someone on the phone, sometimes you just do the E40, ooh. So I'm jealous that you live in the yay area because what a cool area that is. Big up to Nico in Oakland. My cousin used to live in Oakland too. Kid Ace Aiden, I want to sponsor you with my tea brand, Gulf of Aiden. Oh, sounds cool. Send a message on uh, Instagram or something. Big up Jeremy Mayo. Just dropping to say you really love the show. Awesome content and info. Stay safe out there. Best of luck in the future. Thank you very much. You too. Out in nature, all the best. I'm watching from the channel. Long time. Best regard from the Netherlands. Much respect to Netherlands. All the people I've met from Netherlands have been super cool. When I go to Indonesia, there's always a bunch of different surfers from Netherlands, and they're always rad people. Tudo bom, Evandro. Abraços para você também. Valeu. Ah, Kerala. You're in Kerala, India. Very cool. Big up to you. What's up, Elove is real. Shout out from Baltimore. Big up to Baltimore. What's good in Baltimore these days? How's things in Baltimore? I've been close by. Just drove through like Silver Spring, Maryland, I think. Why don't I smoke? Can I give a small explanation? Lately, smoking makes me lazy. I can't do stuff. And I used to be able to fall asleep really easy. And now when I smoke, I get super wired. So if it's not good for me in the daytime and it's not good for me in the evening time, that leaves a pretty small window when I can enjoy. But I do like the gummies. I enjoy the gummies lately. So Greg, you're getting a huge following in Scarborough, Toronto area. Cool. I go to Scarborough all the time because I'm a big fan of Scarborough Bluffs, hanging out on the beach, surfing there. If there's ever a big, strong east wind, you'll see me down there. Maybe Monday. It's supposed to be some good, good, strong wind. Oh, Chris is waiting for a weed story. Okay, so, yeah, I got sidetracked. So, this is a weed story about uh, Wani and Ross Fire. So, they got property next to Moko when they were probably... 20 years old or maybe even younger like 18 or something like that and the way moko first described me he's like oh there's some rastas that bought a place next to me but they really smoke a lot they they smoke too much weed he was really concerned like concerned about how much weed these rastas were smoking i thought oh my god who are these rastas and then later on it turns out that these these young scottish kids <laughs> so I just thought it was the funniest thing. I'm imagining some, you know, grizzled 60-year-old gnarly, you know, Jamaican Rasta man who's smoking too much weed and Moko's worrying about him. But it was just a bun couple of young Scottish guys. So big up Wani and <laughs> big up to Ross Fire. That was a pretty funny story. So anyway, here's a little, little weed story. Big up Marc Antoine de Rocher. Love your channel. Can't wait to go back to Jamaica. Me too. Oh. Mr. Tapui, do you guys get much bananas um, like on the North Island and the, right up top there where it's kind of more tropical? 
I'm trying to remember. I don't remember seeing much bananas. Definitely not where I was in Wellington. It's a uh, big up Hillary McDonald. Thanks for donating. Much respect. Maddie, please bless up. Please give us a full sentence on Patwa. First King says, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to get put on the spot and, and speak in Patwa. You have to catch me when, when Koopy calls me. Big up Raphael, Jacob Reyes. I love what you're doing so much. Number one fan. Keep it up from Philippines. Much respect. I was really hoping to spend some time in Philippines earlier in the year. I had some transfer flights through Manila. And then obviously because of COVID, that all got boned out. And actually, Philippine Airlines, they still owe me some money because they canceled my flight, left me stranded. And then they said, oh, we're going to credit you back part of your flight. And uh, they did not. And that was seven, six, six, seven months ago. So, yo, Kara, you guys made me so nervous walking up to Higher Heights Farm. You were nervous watching Ratsy with the machete. Yeah, don't worry about Ratsy with the machete. He's been handling machete since he was like two. He's good. Buzz Lightyear, big up from Ottawa, elbow cough. Is there an elbow cough emoji? Or, yeah. What's up, Lifted Views in California? What's up, Cope Boss? Big up to Louie. Matthew, where are, you, where are you from? Can everyone see the little comments I'm putting down in the screen? I hope you can. Motinko, hey Matt, just curious, what did Moko do for a living before his Airbnb respect from Slovakia? Uh, Moko used to work with stone, like doing bricklayer stonework, masonry. Then he was a chef. He cooked for, um, oh, I can't believe I'm blanking on his name. There's a, a guy out in Portland that has a guest house, and Moko was his cook for a while. Moko and this guy Owen were cooks. Big up Dave from the 90s. What's up from Miami, Florida? Big up, big up. Kylie, big up from Australia. Are those your two little ones? Super cute. Where in Australia are you from? Big up Yassi Jasmine, Juni. Represent Victoria. You guys are doing pretty good with COVID, aren't you, right now? Pretty low numbers. Hmm. So, guys, I'm going to do a real quick um, promo here after one second. Big up to Matthew Nazare. Aloha. Much respect. So, if you click show more below, there's a link to the store. It'll automatically give you a 20% discount on anything in the store. So please do, if you want some merch, now's the time. There's a couple really wicked designs, which is the one, well, there's the one I'm wearing, which is one of my faves. There's a new one called High Man Being. That's why this chat's called that, because my friend John Cut designed this wicked thing and graphic. And that graphic is the High Man Being graphic, and you can get it on all the merch. There's another one that's kind of a rock and roll style called Respect that this guy who does death metal album covers did. So, um, but um, if you wanna join our email list and keep in touch, I'm doing a draw. So I'm gonna pull this out again. Maybe I should have done this, just leave it out. But if you join the email list below, I'm gonna enter you into a draw to win a print. Now it's done by my friend and mentor, Josh Cole, who's an artist. He's a First Nations, gentleman from northern british columbia and he does these amazing he did this wicked painting and did a few signed prints so we sell them in the store normally 250 dollars. they're on sale for 150 right now but if you join our email list uh one person's gonna win one of these prints so 250 value 
or much more in my opinion, because it's so awesome. They're pretty huge as you can see, and I'm not gonna handle it too, too much, but you can check it out in the store. So please do uh, check that out and join the email list and keep in touch. So I promise not to spam you or sell your information to bots or artificial intelligence. Yes, the painting is excellent. Boom. Big up Mo McPhee, Brampton in the house. Big up Luis, much respect. Thank you, sir. I guess we can't talk to other commenters on this gimmick. Too bad, it's so much fun. Can you? Can't you? That looks like an old record. Yeah, it does. Are you talking about this or the print? Because this is actually designed off an old record. This Afrobeat record. Some Nigerian Nigerian record that I found in a shop here. I never actually listened to the record, but the cover was cool enough to go, whoa, I want to do something similar to that. What's up, the Flojo 1958? Big up to you. Hope you're doing good. Santa Barbara tribe. Oh, I'm jealous of you guys. Santa Barbara, what a place. Is that hippie van still there right on the beach? That famous hippie van. The Santa Barbara skate park is amazing. But the weirdest thing is that there's all these no skateboarding signs the second you go out of the skate park. So you can't even skate on the sidewalk in Santa Barbara. Or you can get arrested. That's a bummer. But I, Good waves and good skate park down there, but I don't know. Kind of Babylon with the police down there in, in uh, Santa Barbara. I don't know. What do you think? Maybe I have it wrong. I was just passing through, so I don't know. Big up Killmonger Atoshi. Love the videos. Thanks for that. Appreciate it. What's up, Nestor Rosa and NYC? Loving the show. Big up to you. Big up. Poli Sanam. That's cool. What languages uh, do they speak in Kerala? Pardon my ignorance. Flemish Lion. It's sad that it costs more than a thousand euro to come to Jamaica. Are you serious? From Europe? That's crazy because you guys normally fry, fly pretty cheap. I meet all these surfers that come from Europe, come into Indonesia, and it costs them like half of what I'm paying. Um, yeah, it's cheap for us. Luckily, it's like 400 bucks to go to Jamaica. Well, maybe not four, four to six. And then if you're doing luggage or gear, I'm usually paying six, seven. So Lisa would love to see more of Sure He and the Twins. Who's sure he? Ah, Malayam. That's the language in Kerala. Very cool. Very cool. I know it, I know in Kerala in your area, you have a lot of similar fruits and stuff to Jamaica because I've talked with some other people before. Dead boy, favorite ledge trick? Peace from Minnesota. Peace to you. I've been trying this lead trick for five years and I've still never done it, but I come close. It's a half cab heel to like switch back tail. Is that it? Or like a front side nose side? I can't do it. I get real close every time. Can't do it. Five years. I'm going to land it someday. Captain Hargood. Yeah, back at home right now. Big up Cali J. Cali J's chick, not Cali J. Cali J's kitchen. Cali J's kitchen. I was gonna say Cali J's chicken. That's hard to say. Cali J's kitchen. Am I the only one? Am I just tripping out here? Jam pack cooking. Matt, how do I put the comments on the screen, bro? That's cool. I know it is because I saw my. Uh, Amigo Noah Kagan do it and I was like, what is going on? What is this magic? So I'm using something called StreamYard. It's just uh, StreamYard.com They have a two-week um, Free membership. So I'm just using the free one right now and it's awesome 
it is so much easier to do the live show. I can see all the comments. I just click on a comment if I want to share it like that. You can even share screen and that kind of thing. Way better than the YouTube platform or anything else I've ever used. So big up to StreamYard. I'm, I'm for real loving this broadcast system. Big up to all the high man's beings watching. All high man beings get 20% off in the store. So please click that link. If you want 20% off, here I go. Sorry guys, but I'm doing some promo today too while we chat. It's all promo, baby. And I can show my own comment. Thank you very much. How do I say your name properly? Yannicky Tenbrook. I hope I said that right. Yeah, it's done by, um, oh my God, I'm blanking on the name, but they did stuff for Habitat Skateboards, if you know that company, the same artist. What's up, Sean Vassal? Hope you're doing good. Bro, when you go back and see Michael try coconut trees, you can bleed the stalks and get alcohol. Yeah. I would like to do that. We got Mark, Rhode Island. Do you guys get waves in Rhode Island? I'm sure you do. I just haven't heard much about it, which is probably good. Time in Toronto right now is 8.30. Are you in UK, Callie? Scott, Scott, big up. Got you through the COVID stress. Thank you very much. It's nice to hear. I'm glad we could help in a little way. Any little which way we can. Did I post my own sale yet? Ooh. Post. There we go. There we go. So if you click on the link below, if you want merch, this weekend's the best weekend to get it because it's as cheap as it's going to get. John, ever surfed Tofino? I haven't, you know? It's just, I love Canada, but it's so expensive, you know, to travel all the way out west, then get to the island. I feel like if I went to surf, there would have to be, uh, because I'm just going to stay for a month or something like that. Pete's heading to Jamaica in January, going to pay Moco a visit. Very cool. Enjoy. What's up, Mono? Monte Carlo, Northern California. Top bang, I wish you do a live chat with Moko. I've done it before. I got him on the phone because I have him on Skype. But the problem is no one can really understand him. It's hard to understand through the phone. And then when the phone is broadcasting to here, it makes it even harder. Plus, I can't subtitle it. So hmm. Jordan Gilbert, will you stream yard in the future? I think I will. I don't know how much it costs yet, <clears throat> but if it's this easy and this nice. Absolutely. It's like, it's going so good. I can also go live on Facebook and YouTube at the same time with StreamYard. Ah, I should have done that. I did not know that. So thank you, DNR, for that one. Chris, do I understand 100% of what Mako says? No. And a lot of Jamaicans have told me the same thing. They don't quite understand everything he says. <laughs> so... He tends to change gears mid-sentence sometimes. So he'll, he'll be talking about one thing and then it switches to another and you're trying to put those pieces together. So, uh, yeah. Don't understand everything, but I understand a lot. Big up Marcy Travels. Got your awesome no fuckery mug. We love it. Thank you very much. It's awesome. Big up Dennis. Dennis Altrecht. Much respect. What's up, Nija? Hope you're doing good. Great name. You know Nija Houston, I'm sure. Kavita Dreams do a great job on the subtitle. I, I don't do the subtitles anymore. It's it's Colin. So there's uh, Colin in Montego Bay who takes care of that. So big up to Colin. I used to do the subtitles for the first seven years and then maybe well maybe longer than that about a year and a half ago i started working with colin 
because it is very time consuming. So I can do it and I understand most things. And actually my friend Howard, so shout out to Howard in Toronto here. He's from Jamaica originally. And I used to text Howard on WhatsApp and send him a recording. Be like, yo, Howard, I don't know what he's saying. And eventually he's just like, Matthew, if you don't get it, I'm not going to get it either. You know, Pato, man, if, if you don't catch it, it's done. Just <laughs> forget about it. So big up to Howard, Howard Milad. He's in the uh, food business. Are me and Simon good now? Yeah, me and Simon are good. We chat here and there, We're trying to link it up sometime. We got off on a on a wrong start due to some uh, miscommunications, but we've uh, talked it out like gentlemen. So big up Simon, big up to Simon. Big apology, Bermuda. How's the weather in Bermuda right now? I heard you guys get a pretty cool winter, right? You do not sniff the Coke, only smoke your sense of meal. That's probably very smart. Good for your health. Flemish Lion, you heard cannabis is legal to tourists. Cannabis is legal everywhere. Everywhere. There's weed stores all over the place in Jamaica retail. So, yeah, it's been legal for a few years. So if you want to smoke, no problem. Are me and Sunrise cool? Yeah, we're cool. We hung out uh, when I was in Jamaica. The video I put out today was me and Sunrise. So Yes, he says can't bring it out or fly out with it. <clears throat> it's kind of funny, even though if you're going from Canada to Jamaica or Jamaica to Canada, where it's legal in both countries, mm -mm -mm. but you can get seeds. Yeah, Raman, why is weed illegal in India? That's where it comes from. That's where it came to, to Jamaica from. So I don't know. Ralph, Mako ever in a hurry? Nope. Best fruit, my favorite fruit, soursop, I would have to say. Big up Ebenezer in Accra, Ghana. Ralph, yeah, I, I skied when I was a kid and snowboarded when I was a kid and I used to buy passes at Blue Mountain. Like we don't really have good snowboarding around here. So I, I'll usually get out a couple times a year. Um, but I, I love, love the skiing and snowboarding. Do I know Chucky? I haven't met Chucky. I actually tried to link up with Chucky on the last trip, but he happened to be away the weekend that I was in Portland. So I wasn't able to catch up with Chucky, but Chucky seems like a cool guy. Breezy squad. I'm the bumble clock, man. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Big up. Dennis, I should try some of the Dutch weed like Amnesia Haze or Super Silver Haze. <clears throat> I'm a lightweight. I get knocked out. Ah. Please try to repeat three times. Cycle Rally, Paul, Uru, Lori Rally. Is that a tongue twister? <laughs> Ruben, have I been to Sunrise Yard? No, I haven't Haven't been to his place yet. Who's my favorite skater? Uh, right now, there's a whole lot. Aishad, Aishad Ware. Uh, Eric Winkowski, you know him? He skates with like an 80s old school board and does all these crazy 80s tricks that I can't do. So I'll, I'll say my favorite's Eric Winkowski right now. Carlos Mendez, big up the whole Nova Scotia and Jamaica. Are you in Nova Scotia? Cool. Farm and cook. Cook and farm. I like that title. Have I tried sea moss yet? Oh, yeah, we've done tons of sea moss. Good stuff. Why does Rastaman always cook with his rings on? Makes you think he doesn't wash his hands. I don't know. I wash with my ring. I cook with my ring on. Is that bad? Uh, Blue Mountain, Pennsylvania. No, it's Blue Mountain, Ontario, and it's not really much of a mountain. Blue Mountain's a funny name. So is there a Blue Mountain in 
Pennsylvania, and there's one in Ontario, and there's Blue Mountains, Australia, and there's Blue Mountains in Jamaica. Yeah. Oh, I just saw an Antoine Dixon comment. Dub to Toolman, how do you feel about other vloggers visiting the yard filming? I have two different thoughts on it. If it's, um, you know, if it's someone small, sure. Um, I think, though, that if you're going to be vlogging and filming, you should be paying Moko, and I've told them this. If someone's going to come and film you, and especially if they keep coming back and filming you, coming back and filming you, you sh he should be getting paid for not just his cooking or staying on the yard. There's more than that, too. So I've told him that before. Um, I don't know how he works it, but in my opinion, if someone's going to repeatedly film with him, they should be paying him. And uh, yeah, but it's it's up to him, you know. So, but that's my my opinion on it. I think overall, it's a good thing. You know, vloggers get content. Marco gets a bit of shine from maybe new audience or um, new people that didn't, didn't see him before. So, I think overall, it's good. I think it can be, yeah, can be overdone. So yeah, it just needs to be fair, you know. Wisconsin, 1976. Wife is from Port Antony. Watch your videos. I would ask wife, do you understand? Then ask me, I say very little. Does Mako sleep? Yeah. What is the drone I use? I use the Mavic Pro Zoom. I used to have a Mavic Air. It's for sale. If anyone wants a Mavic Air, it's really cheap. I'm selling it for like 500 bucks. Two batteries. Anyone, message me below. You look like you could have some locks under the hoodie there. You know me, I'm a bald head. This milk ever cook with mushrooms, you know. Someone was asking me this before too. I have never seen him use mushrooms and they do grow magic mushrooms around there. So I don't know, it'd be cool. Eric is sick. Yeah, you know Eric Winkowski? I want, that's like my dream kind of skateboarding, but I, I cannot do that. I'm so scared of big transition and I can't, I don't know, maybe because I'm a tall guy, I have a hard time grabbing and stuff. I don't know. Big up, Mazzy Garcia in California. Welcome on, JJ Prada. Flemish lion has locks, but getting bold and old on the top of the head. Hey, just have a skullet. Have a skullet uh, dreadlocks. Why not? Rodney Mullins, a great skater for you. Yeah, Rodney's so rad. Killmonger, don't I get scared with all those graves outside the yard? Not me. No duppies for me. Ellie Michelle, how long do I visit Jamaica or how often? I'm usually there every usually every four months, four or five months. I'm trying to go three times a year. Although COVID has really kind of messed that up with all the quarantine time. I have spent six weeks in quarantine this year already, and I'm not that keen to do any more. So yeah. Big up monkey to monkey. I love the respect you have for Moko and he has for you many blessings. Thank you very much. You too, big up. Big up Jaden. Bless up to Winnipeg. Love Winnipeg. Winnipeg is a great spot. What an underrated sp place. I haven't been in so long. Me and my friend Tristan did this road trip out there when we were 19 years old and uh, got all wild partying and stuff when we were young. It was pretty awesome. Saskatoon too, or well, no, Regina. We had a good time out west. It was, it was cool. Big up one Dan. One Dan, you got to time out, man. You got to relax, man. You can't can't comment 20 times. Kylie, remember when you dropped the lid on yours and Malko's foot? Man, that was Malko. He dropped it on both of our foot. I didn't touch the lid. That's all on him. Philip Grant, how old am I? Where did I learn all the types of trade? I'm creeping up on 40 pretty quick. Uh, I've always had cameras messing around since I was younger, filming each other skateboarding and snowboarding and 
antics. And I went to school for broadcasting, radio and television broadcasting. I graduated 2007, I think. Big up Cheryl Freeman. What's well, respect? Is this Cheryl Freeman, the artist? Am I getting that right? News Newman, Johnny Geiger skater. He's the one that does all the crazy, insane, like wizard type tricks. That's crazy. What am I drinking? I saw a comment. I am drinking water right now. Kathy Brown, just water. I have some mint tea left too. In my Ras Kitchen official mug. So if you want 20% off of this, check out the store. Matthew, blessing because of you, Jamaican vloggers have blown up, have they? I know Sunrise is doing real good, and I, I see the one spearfishing Jamaica. I don't know if we had anything to do with it. I think it's all their hard work, but I, I think we were one of the first channels out of Jamaica to kind of really get a, a good size audience. So, um, yeah, it's cool. It's awesome to see other Jamaican vloggers getting some shine, like uh, Soai stuck on an island. Big up to him, too. YouTube Memphis, what's my favorite meal in Jamaica? Honestly, the one I eat the most is probably just a stew chicken, rice and peas, probably my go-to, or ackee saltfish for breakfast. Those are my two go-tos, but if I can if I can get something um, that Moko's making, I'm going to get the red herring rundown or his fried chicken. Oh, man. Big up Jackie Johnson. You got your son who's 11. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's wicked. Drew Danko, where did I take that program? I took that program at Conestoga College in Kitchener, which I really loved. I, I actually ended up teaching at that same college for a couple of years. So I was teaching 10 years ago in the TV and journalism programs at the same college. Natural hair lever K, you want to visit the yard, but you're kind of freaked out by big spiders. You know what? I don't see many spiders there. Uh, very few spiders. Yeah, I don't know. Baja cannabis, ever snowboarded in Big Bear, California. Yeah, that is honestly, I'm so jealous of you guys in California. Really, I swear I was born in the wrong place. So you guys can go snowboarding in the mountain to surf on the beach in 45 minutes. That is so <laughs> insane. I call that the trifecta. I've maybe done it three times in my life at home here. And everything has been bad because, no, I guess the snowboarding can be good. You can have a good snowboard day, but then if the waves are going to be pretty bad. And then if you're skateboarding, it's freezing. So... The trifecta is really hard to do, but you get to do it all the time. So jealous. Kara L, new, no Ross Kitchen led you to spear fishing in Sunrise. Cool. Well, I'm glad to know. That's awesome. Big up Kip Hirutamu. Matt, you have a cool spirit. You do too. And a cool name. Is that a nickname or is that a real name? That's a cool one. Oh, look, a lot of people love spear fishing Jamaica. So. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to link up with Spearfishing Jamaica or other other people. What size Ross Kitchen shirt do I wear? I wear a large, and I like shirts that don't fit too high, you know? Like, it's uh, it fits really well. This is a large, and it's not too baggy or boxy. It's kind of fitted. Like, it's not so loose on the arms. So if, if you like that fit, I'm a large. I'm, uh, I'm about 200 pounds, so... Yeah, large fits fits good. Larry Fisherman, big up. Salute to you, YouTube Memphis. Much respect. Very cool. Where are you from? Sounds like a almost like a South South Pacific name or something like that. Very cool. 
Doesn't look like Sunrise is having fun anymore. Looks like he's at work. I mean, the man works hard. Have you seen how much content he puts out? I was talking to Jason about this. I mean, I, I struggle to put out one, two episodes a week, and he's doing like something every day and long content too. So a uh, different style, but Jason's a hardworking guy. Good night, Natalie. Big up. Ron. Just started watching. Definitely got pulled in. Very cool. Thanks for that. I visited Jamaica back in 92. And felt bad about hearing about Rati's papa. Yeah, it's tough. But big up to you, Ron. I'm glad you can kind of visit. Visit uh, through the video scene. Samuel, the swimming episode is great. His locks were 10 feet. Yeah, that was a cool one. I I love that waterfall, man. That uh, It's amazing to me that there's there's still a lot of places on this world, on this earth, where you can go. And there's no one around. Like we could have hung out there all day and there's no one around. You have a pristine swimming hole, water hole. You bring some beers, bring some spliffs, just enjoy the whole day. You know, it's it's magical. You can drink right out the river. It's it's so cool. Big up Andy Milanakis. No way. Yes, Andy. <laughs> I've been watching your stuff for years. You know, when I saw that you were following the channel, I thought it was so crazy. I'm like, Hold on. Is this Andy Milanakis? Like, is this really Andy Milanakis following the channel? That's crazy. So big up to you, man. If you don't know Andy Milanakis, funniest dudes on the planet, one of them. So please check out Andy. Man, that is so rad. Honestly, Andy, I got to take a screenshot of this right now. Uh, I can show my friends and be like, yo, look, Andy jumped on my live stream. Respect. Here's a pound through the camera. And I love that you're doing your thing on YouTube too. It's awesome. That's <laughs> so rad. Big up Megan Watson in New Zealand. Oh, I miss New Zealand so much. I don't know when I'm coming back. Are you guys letting tourists in yet? I was thinking I, I would love to go back and do my van thing again with a better van. Maybe bring my girl down there. If she's up for the van life, uh, I'll definitely do it when it's warmer though. Once it got cold, I was, uh, I was dying over there. Big up Kili crew. How long have you been skateboarding? I've been making skate videos since 2011. Oh, that's very cool. Send me a link. I love watching the indie videos. I started skateboarding, I guess 1988. I think 88 is when I got a first board. I was kind of a kid though, playing with a toy. So I really kind of got into it 93 um, when I was like grade seven. And he says, big up ratty. I'll tell him that for sure. Ryan Allen, big up, big up. Antonio Santos, much respect to you. Keep the videos coming. Love the content. Thank you. Skylar Rustin, do I know Bridgeport area within Kitchener? Yeah, absolutely. I got a friend with a business right around there. You guys are near the golf, is it golf steakhouse? It's a good steak over there. Vincent Mastriano, I love watching Raz Kitchen. How long have I been visiting? 10 years, and I still don't fully understand everything. So, yep. Greg Marcy, how much how much do you Marco smoke in a day? I don't smoke that much. In Jamaica, I'll usually have one spliff at night. And Marco, I don't know, you might have like five, six spliffs a day, something like that. To product, 88 was just born. What month, if I remember? I don't know. I was like seven years old. I don't remember. Andy, if you send me 100 bucks, can I buy Ratty a gift? You can. I just bought him an iPad, though, last time I went down. So, yeah, whatever you want to get Rat Rat, I can get it for him. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's so cool, Andy. That's uh, wild. Select a dang baggy and small wheels time. Yeah, for sure. 
I definitely had the big pants and the small wheels. Thanks, Andy, for donating. Hey. What's up, Talia? Love your live. Thank you. First Kang, love the 80s. Me too. 80s music. You know, when I was a kid, I didn't appreciate it. I, I thought it was all kind of cheesy stuff. But as I've been getting older and digging back to all this music that came out in the 80s, like Pixies and Shoegaze and weird electro stuff, like there's so much good music that came out in the 80s. It's wild. Maybe one of the best eras for music. I don't know. Am I the only one that thinks that? If you dig deep on music and dig into the 80s, there is some crazy stuff. Big up me. Big up me. Wyatt, no, we didn't get to plant the blue bananas yet. The ice cream bananas. He still got the seeds, though. Yeah, real, recognize real. What's up, Alexis? Jamaican insider, 80s and 60s are the best. Yeah, 60s, I don't know enough about, uh, about 60s. I do dig a lot, though, for old music. For sure. 90s is the best era for hip-hop and reggae. Yeah, you know what, Larry? Hip-hop, for sure. Reggae, I, I feel you, too. 80, I don't know. Actually, I like the old reggae stuff too, but definitely for hip hop in my humble opinion. Yeah, the 80s hip hop doesn't hit it <clears throat> as much for me. Big up Diana Clark. Shout out to the UK. Much respect. Frank Black. Yes, Alex. You know, I was listening to um, Frank Black, Teenager of the Year, all week on repeat and just couldn't believe how good Teenager of the Year was. That album is crazy. Now, was that 90s? Yeah, that was early 90s. But yeah, talking about Pixies, talking about good music, 80s, 90s, Frank Black or Black Frank or Black Francis, whatever he goes by. Super Black's album, 80s album. Okay, I got to check that out. What what genre is that, John? I listen to everything, so it doesn't matter, but uh, just curious. I was listening to today, I don't know how we got off on this topic, but does anyone know Tim Maya? Go on your um, Spotify or Apple Music and get a Essentials of Tim Maya from Brazil. It's like Brazilian soul, funk, disco, R&B, ballads, craziest voice, Tim Maya. Just amazing. Wow, Andy. <laughs> That's so rad. Thanks, Andy. Big up, Andy. Get him a dope remote truck or car. Okay, done, man. I'm definitely doing that. Big up, Andy. I'm trying to... Uh, <laughs> how come I can't post your uh, donation? A Andy just donated 100, 150 bucks to get him a dope remote truck or car. Let me add that to my list of things to buy on Black Friday. I didn't do any shopping yet, but uh, I will do that. Buy Ratty remote truck. He's going to love that. You know how much he loves the drone? Like, I was there two weeks straight, quarantine on the yard, and he would not stop talking about, Matthew, we're going to fly the drone. Matthew, we're going to fly the drone. Matthew, we're going to fly the drone. <laughs> it, was, it was funny. So, people, if you want some good music, Tim Maya from Brazil. I think Malko and I even talked about him on the river cruise. He had a really good line. He says, I don't smoke. I don't sniff. I don't drink. I just lie a little. Such a good, good, good line. Jaden, dig Chronix or Popcorn? Pretty cool scene going on there. Yeah, there's lots of good music coming out. Uh, definitely like Chronix. Popcorn's definitely got some good jams for sure. It's like a different style than I'm usually into because, like I said, I'm kind of old, old school head. But, yeah, the new dance hall, there's still some amazing tracks and popcorns from the same place as Mako. He's got a house in the same same area. Big up, big up. Where is Ratchie's mother twin sister? They're both around. I talk to them regularly. Uh, let's see. who. Do, what was Shauna saying last time? 
I talked to Chanel yesterday, Shauna. Oh, Shauna day before too. The WhatsApp thing's pretty amazing. Makes it easy to keep in touch with people. And he was on Tam TV. Yes, he was. Who are some of my idols skating? I always forget. <clears throat> I used to like Josh Kalis a lot. And my favorite video is Welcome to Hell. Nineties grunge was great too. Yes, indeed. Matthew, glad you showed the realness of Jam Down. Higher Mountain content was fantastic. Thank you very much. It was a, a fun one. Uh, there's another hike video coming out that I'm really excited for. And Koopy, Ratsy, and I hike up to the ruins of a plantation that they call Slavery House. And it's a pretty wicked hike with really crazy ruins of this old plantation. And actually, the first full day I was in Jamaica 10 years ago, we did the same hike. And I never put out that video either. So I've got a few of these hike videos I think I've hiked there three times and never put up a video about it. So I gotta, gotta do that for sure. Hardstyle Norway have Moko I ever listened to Shizedek. No, I don't know that one. What kind of music is that? I have no idea. Big up. C Shakes123. Thanks for donating. Much respect. Big up to you. Kill Crew, Toy Machine, welcome to hell. A former pro for Toy Machine, Nick Deprasso. That's one that's flowing you boards. Whoa, you're getting flow? So you're a good skater. I was, <clears throat> I'm always amateur hour. I had a shop sponsor in high school, but that was only because my friends were on the team and they were way better. And I was, I was the tag along. Yeah. Matt, how come you did all you all did not video the flooding yeah actually i did i just haven't got to that content yet it's been kind of a crazy month since i got back but yeah there's lots of rainy day content to come larry will i go to trinidad to buy their foods yes i will someday dub cartel check them out canadians doing dance hall. oh yeah i gotta check that out i gotta write all this i gotta take notes take notes for myself so i gotta do dub cartel what was that Shezenik one? Love hearing about new music. Did I go to the new Jamaica Skate Park? I did Freedom Skate Park. I did a video there. Met some of the locals like Daniel Well Raggedy. And uh, I went there in the afternoon, so I think none of the OG guys are there, but I've, I've met some of those guys before. Skate Park's really nice. I wish the bowl was bigger. It's kind of a small, diddly little thing. But it's a really cool skate park. <laughs> zugu zoom, zugu zoom, guzang. Is that a... Who is that? Is that Yellow Man? That's a Yellow Man song, right? What's up, Richard? Young Chin Choi, big up. Wagwan to you. John, thank you very much for donating. Bless up. What's my favorite Yellow Man song? Well, Zuga Zing is the one that comes to mind. <laughs> so, yeah, that must be it. Shazikas is a reggae singer. Listen to Leave the Trees, okay? I got to try that. Dub Maddox, B Velvet. Yeah, you know what's funny? Dub Maddox's dad lives in my neighborhood, and I bought a lens from him like eight years ago. So it's actually how I found out about Dub Maddox. I bought a used lens. His dad's this wicked photographer. He used to tour with all the rock bands, uh, shooting all kinds of bands. And he's like, oh, yeah, my son uh, makes reggae. So never met Dub Maddox. I've actually reached out to him a whole bunch of times. But I think I got lost in the email shuffle. So big up Dub Maddox. Much respect. General Trees. Raga 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 Muffin. All right, let me check that out too. Yeah, anyone got some good um, music suggestions? Write them down. Check them out. Any genre. Doesn't matter. 
Check out Tim Maya. If you want some rock and roll, check out Frank Black. Those are my two picks. Not reggae at all, but good music. Yes, Roger, I got to put up those um, those hike videos. I'll probably get to the newest one first just because it's so cool. But yeah, there's some two kind of old throwback ones I got to put up. Expect nothing. You made me embrace in Jamaican culture. I'm an English and was very ignorant. One love. Hey, no shame in being ignorant. You don't know what you don't know. So you come come hang out in Jamaica. You'll get get a hold of it quick. Select a dang. Dub Maddox. Meet him at my friend's studio. Matthew, please check out Joseph Cotton, a tune called No Touchy Style. <laughs> you see, this is great. There's all these people that I've never heard of. Joseph Cotton. I'm writing this down. No touchy style. Style. How are we doing on time? Oh my God, we've been talking for an hour and 20 minutes. This is good. This is very good. Massive respect to P Star. Big up, big up. Thanks for donating. Collie Buds. Collie Buds is a cool one. Big up Muhammad in Pakistan. Very cool. I'd love to go to Pakistan. Alpha Blondie. See, this is the type of reggae I know. Alpha Blondie. I've, I've seen them live. They played here at, was there, is there like an African festival out by the beaches every year? Or was it a caravana thing? I, I can't remember. I swear it was like an African festival they had out by Ashbridge's Bay, whatever that big park is. And Alpha Blondie played live. That's sick. Megan, you can travel to Jamaica. You can, but uh, you're going to be in two weeks quarantine. Can you get Rat to your real airplane? Damn, if you got the cash. Bears Hammond, another classic one. Old school in the light, Led Zeppelin. Hell yeah. What's up, Corey? Big up, check out 69 Robert Rankin. Check out Amanaz from Zambia. See, you never heard of that one either. Got to write that down. Write it down. Amanaz. Zambia. That is wild. Any Jamaican you cook at home, you know, because I get to go to Jamaica so much, I and uh, and eat there really all the time and eat really well. When I'm at home, I don't really miss it. So the only Jamaican thing I do at home is I do make sorrel in uh, Christmas time and I do get breadfruit and roast up breadfruit. But as far as like dish from a recipe, I don't even end up going to Jamaican restaurants here that much. And there's good, good restaurants. I think I'm, I'm just so spoiled when I'm in Jamaica. So yeah, I don't really cook a whole, a whole lot myself. Billy the Fridge Pinwheels. Andy knows Billy. Okay. Check out Izio and Dodo Sound. What a great name. Dodo Sound. Michael, look at me. What's up, dude? Hope you're good, brother. Hope you and Kylie are good. Sorrel you make year round. Yeah. Why why do we only do it at Christmas? You know? Why is the sorrel just a Christmas thing? I guess that's when the flowers are blooming in Jamaica. But when you do the sorrel juice, you're normally cooking it from dry, right? So who needs uh who needs sorrel? That's wild. Jamaican surfing, talk amongst yourself. I am so lucky that my friend PETA has a place right on the beach, and that's where I stay a lot and get to surf every day. But I, I need to explore and surf some more good Jamaican waves. Super Black, we ready for them? Okay, I got to see that one. Select a dang. 
I am a huge jungle DB lover. I have so many good jungle records. That was my music when I was in high school, jungle DB. So big love for jungle DB. I kind of fell out of the loop with what's modern or what's uh I'm not really kept up with it, but I still kept all my favorite records from that era. Qual é Pedro no Brasil? Tudo bom? Tranquilão. Tracy Ann, remember the little boy take pictures with? Hmm? Yes, Kylie. Big up, big up. Big up to you and Michael. Check out Black Uru. Yeah, that's a, that's a classic one. I definitely know that one. Big up from, from St. Lucia. Ooh, I and I Inspirations. Very cool. Check out I and I Inspirations. Rose Knight. Hey, big up to uh, Rose's mom, Barbara. Hope you have a happy birthday. Much respect. João Soares, você fala português. Eu falo um pouco. Tenho amigos brasileiros. E português também. Dillinger, B Velvet, Dillinger. Yeah, Dillinger, Friday. Friday is one of my favorite, favorite tracks. The newer Dillinger stuff, I don't know as much. When he got kind of more jump up, I wasn't as into it. But, I mean, Dillinger is one of the ultimate guys, right? Nasty Ways and what other tracks? There's so many good Dillinger tracks. Two to One, that's kind of a more obscure one that I, I really loved. Oh, Row Fisherman Row. What song, what artist was that? I, I love that song too. Richard, check out Mineral Bath in St. Thomas. I've been, but it wasn't that cool. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going to sound like a snob here, but in my travels, I've got to do some really, really cool natural hot springs in other countries. And then the one in Bath, it's just kind of a pipe coming out. So it wasn't nearly as cool as like a hot spring waterfall in New Zealand or something like that. So I know I'm going to sound kind of kooky saying that, but it's, uh, yeah, I do like the hot springs though. And I do hear it has some good healing stuff. Caliber and Marcus Intellects, absolutely. Rest in peace, Marcus Intellects. That's a shame that guy's gone. Do I have any children? I don't have any children, but uh, my girl and I joke that we have a daughter, her her little dog, Shangul. So I'm, I'm kind of a dog to uh no, I'm, I'm not a dog. I'm a man. I'm a dad. I'm a dad to a dog. Shangle, big up Shangle. Peter Christie, big up to Connecticut. Big up to you. Seen every episode some two, three times. Thank you very much. That's so awesome. Oh, Pedro, check out Ponto de El Equilibrio. I got to check that out. I'm writing this down. Ponto do Equilibrio. Very cool, very cool. Big up Bev, thank you. Big up Beverly. Yo, it's Matt Edwards. Matt, how are you? You got a beard too. I'm uh, I'm rocking one as well. Hope you're doing good. Matt Edwards, talking about names that I recognize from the comments of the show. I'm pretty sure Matt Edwards was one of our first viewers, like first 100 people watching and commenting from 10 years ago. So big up to you, Matt. Uh, I never forget the names that I see from way back. So big up to Faye, Jessica's mom, much respect. Have I spent time in Elizabeth and Westmoreland? No, not really. I've been to every parish, but most of them I'm um, just passing through. Kevin Curran, lovely editing style. Thank you very much. I think I'm not a good editor. I, I'm not flashy. I keep it really simple, but I guess that is kind of a style, right? Like just clean, calm, not too like blah, 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 effects and blah. It's very, a little slower, you know? So I'm glad you appreciate it. Uh, it's more just because I'm not a good editor. That's why I just do it basic, but I'm um, glad you like it. Big up Legal Dope in San Antonio. Rolando Dunbar, I can sing. I don't know if I'm any good. 
my brother is a lot more musical than me. My brother, Jordy, plays all these different instruments and was in a band and was a lead singer. So I'm pretty half-assed compared to my brother. Matt, he was looking for a video for Soursop and the rest is history. Doing well, staying healthy. Very good, Matt. And you know what? That Soursop video was like, like the third video we ever put out or something like that. Big up Selecta. Thanks for watching all the episodes. That's awesome. Big up Beverly or Tindy. Big up Beverly. I'll just say big up Beverly. Uh, Congo's Row Fisherman Row. Yeah, that's the one, Nubian Queen. Thank you for that. It's a great song. Wicked song. Can I say Jao Restafari? I can. <laughs> Tracy Ann, the little boy down the lane, his name's Johnny. What's up, Johnny? Hope I'm saying that right. Big up to you. You're good at filming interesting little critters, Magic Mushroom Cloud says. Yeah, I love critters. I love critters. Some, If I, uh, the ultimate job, I think, is like National Geographic or BBC Earth, David Attenborough style filming, you know, filming nature stuff. I love that. What's up? 41 Durka in Vancouver. Big up to you. Mato Seco for some Brazilian reggae. I, th I think I've heard of that one. Ever seen a Jamaican Coney, Paul G? No, I've never seen a Coney. I ran over a mongoose, though. Have I considered myself an inspirational figures? I have not, but big up to you. Mako is for sure. I think maybe I'm inspirational. Uh, if you keep on grinding at something, maybe it can work out. I think that's a, a good story because you just keep at something and then eventually it's going to, it can turn into something. It doesn't matter what it is. If you do something and you work on it hard for 10 years, you're going to get somewhere, you know? So inspirational quote of the day. Cedric might sing it solo. I don't know. I don't know Cedric. Kylie's going to cruise soon, hey, bro? Big up, big up. Lauren D'Ambrosia, big up from Milford, Connecticut. Just ordered some merch. Yes, thanks, Lauren. Appreciate that. Have you ever ran into in Connecticut? This is a very random question, but uh, I got addicted to 90 Days Fiance during pandemic. And I uh, can't even remember her name. Those two twin sisters, and they're from Connecticut. And they're total train wrecks, but but awesome. What's her name? Anyway, you ever seen those girls around Connecticut? <laughs> Yasi and I watch them all the time, or were. We blasted through the season, so it's done now. Yeah, Bright Eyes, Gold Lizard. Yeah. Big up Layla in France. Rapping Hood, I know. I do know rap and hood, reggae rap. I'm forgetting all these names of good artists from Brazil too. There's some really good hip hop. Oh, I'm I'm so blanking right now. Akram is weather in May in Jamaica good? Yeah, it's kind of like pre-tourist season. Um, the months you want to avoid. I think it's generally um, October. October is normally super rainy, so avoid October, I'm told. And does any other Jamaicans, can you tell me what the other rainy season is? There's another one too, right? But I heard October is the deadly one. Jamaica, little but Talawa, yes. Matthew, I love you very much. I love you interact with family. I saw you leaving Canada. You're watching from Wasaga Beach. Awesome. I love Wasaga Beach. Georgian Bay, what a beautiful place. Big up to you in Georgian Bay. I'm jealous you get to live there. I would love to get a property someday, either on Georgian Bay or Bruce Peninsula. I'm in love with Bruce Peninsula too. Yassi says, Darcy and Tracy. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen Darcy and Tracy? The train wreck twins? Oh, man. <laughs> it's so good. Yo, Black Panther, 
hi-fi sound system. Here's another one of these names I know from way back. Big up to you. Plus up every time. My neighbor in Ohio, if I'm correct. Was it Cleveland? I hope I remember that right. Big up Kayvan. Respect from London. Thanks. Big up to you as well. Alvaro Neto, you want to meet Moko, but you're afraid you won't be able to understand him. Yeah, you just ask him to go slow or repeat himself. He can he can slow himself down if you ask him. And he's very used to um, talking with people from all different countries. You know, some of his first guests that he ever had, like 15 years ago or more, were from Japan and didn't even know English. And he managed to host them for like two weeks. So Moko's a boss. Ah, delicious water. Ever seen a duppy? No. Be velvet. You can go to Matthew's Yard in Blue Mountains, Ontario. Yeah. Actually, I'd, I'd probably be keener to get a place in Jamaica first. Yeah. KHK Graphics and Gaming. Hi from India. Lots of love to you too. Bless up. Thanks for watching. Oh, look at this. We got Persian crew. Big up Persian crew. Bibinam. <laughs> Hubam. Hube. Hubam. Bald nonce. What a great name. Gotta own it. Bald nonce. Nonce is a British term, right? That's such a funny one. Uh, how do you find the video podcast with Noah Kagan? I think if you just Google Noah Kagan Ross Kitchen, it should come up. Yeah, spicy. Man, I don't know how Noah does so much. Noah Noah pulls off like I swear he's doing ten times, ten times as much as I'm doing. Uh, I don't know how Noah does it, but. Yeah, big up to Noah. The podcast is out there if you just Google Noah Keg and Ross Kitchen. Letting the gray grow in. Yeah, this beard will probably go soon. Just been lazy this week. Ever been to a dance? Honestly, I've barely done any clubbing or nightlife in Jamaica. I've been to some dead yards, though, like some really crazy dead yards. So I had a good time with that. Big up Theodore, downtown Toronto. We're neighbors, my friend. Hope you're doing good too. Big up Matthew and Ras Kitchen. Ratty, big up. Big up to you, Dane. Ha! You're funny. <laughs> Junie. Is Ratty going to take over Ras Kitchen? I hope he does. Who knows? Alejandro, is it expensive to travel to Jamaica? No, I think it, it's not the cheapest place. Like getting around and hotels and that isn't the cheapest. You can definitely do it on the cheap. And there's still a lot of places where you can eat. If you know, if you're eating rice and peas or buying your own fish from the market, you can eat pretty well. So um, as far as accommodations, I don't find it that cheap and travel uh, taxis and that are not that cheap either. So. Cheap is relative though, you know, it's hard. It's hard to say exactly. Matthew, what does Moko think about the resorts in Jamaica taking over the late natives land? I don't think he follows that too much. He's kind of in his own world. So yeah. How much goats does Moko have? He doesn't have any goats. I have a goat. Koopy's got, Koopy and Jared have two. I have one. So I bought a goat last time I was there. That video is coming out. Her name's Kelly. Kelly the goat, aka the greatest of all time or the goatest of all time. Yeah. Xandra, can you send money to the ladies on the yard just to help them? They would love that. <laughs> yep. Definitely they would love that. If you want to do it, I'll give you their contact. Do I travel to anywhere else apart from Caribbean Caribbean I've been to Cuba Dominican Republic Bahamas 
Um, but mostly Jamaica. Luke Clements, been watching since you guys were only a thousand or two. Yes, thanks, Luke. It's uh, surprising to me. Gav, remember Power in a Reptile, never forget. Daniel Belfield, what up, what up? Eat anything wicked today? Not really. I've been eating pretty clean at home. Nothing too exciting. Brown rice, chicken rest, chicken breast, and cabbage. So nothing too fancy. Theodore, have I had the chance to experience the live music scene in Jamaica? Now, this is interesting, Theodore, because I was talking with my friend Peter from this, who is Jamaican and lived there. And he said, um, you know what? Jamaica is actually not good for live music at all. It's really good for sound systems and that kind of thing. But when it comes to live music, he says it's really mainly a, a, a tourist thing. You know, out in a grill, you'll see artists playing in the grill. He said to me, Florida has got way more reggae going on than Jamaica does. So you got to experience it for yourself. But that's what he was saying. And uh, I guess I would agree, too, other than you know, Billy Mystic's place, a Jamnesia where they have little live jams or out in the grill or Montego Bay doing stuff, mostly tourists. There's not a ton, not a ton of live music. There's still tons of good music going on, but the live thing I think is, uh, is different. So if you're Jamaican, let me know. I'm just repeating what, uh, what I'm told. As I said, I don't go out a whole lot when I'm there. I'm pretty chill getting up early with the sunrise. So Big up Aguraj in India. Big up to you. Giles Carthy, do I travel anywhere else apart from the Caribbean? Yes, I do. I spend a lot of time in Indonesia, usually two, three months a year. So I actually spend more time there than Jamaica. But Big up Christiana Suleiman. Quantos años tenía Marco y Ash que él era 67. Bring Moko to Mobe more often. I would love to cuz I really want to hang out with Jamaican food boss. So big up Matt, Jamaican food boss, wicked Jamaican YouTuber. And uh I would like to go out there with Moko. Moko doesn't like it too much, so hard to get him out there, you know. Witness any crime? I saw Moko's goat get stolen. Um, I've never really seen bad, scary, sketchy stuff. I mean, it's definitely happening, but no. Gary, and he falls off the EUC. This is my electric unicycle. You know what? I'm so used to bailing on a skateboard and going faster than I go on the EUC. Uh, I've bailed a few times in the city going around quick and hitting a bump or something, but I'm always able to run out. So I haven't bailed yet proper. I'm sure it's going to happen. I just pray that it's not into traffic or something. Uh, but thanks for your concern, Gary. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> uh, that's funny. LJ Pro, any thoughts of expats in Jamaica? Seems like not a popular choice relatively for people from other countries to retire. Now, <clears throat> this is interesting, you know, because... Jamaica has so much potential. It's such a great place. It's English speaking. Uh, it's so close to the United States and Canada. So it's a shame that this isn't kind of, there aren't more expats there. They're choosing other places. And I've met people in Jamaica that, you know, eventually were, were expats and then they ended up working in DR or Cuba or something like that. And most of them say the same thing. They came back to Jamaica. Like the vibe was better in Jamaica. They got along better with Jamaican people than they did locals in the other places. Um, and they felt more comfortable, more at home. So, I mean, the language is a big one, right? You've got an English speaking country right there. You've got amazing people, a beautiful place. It just, I guess, just kind of a fucked up government and who knows what to blame it on exactly, right? But Jamaica has so much potential. So, I don't know. I see a really bright future for Jamaica, even though things are pretty crazy right now. But, you know, I hope more expats go there and maybe can help help raise up Jamaica. You know, it, it needs it needs help and it needs the tourism. And it, if more expats there, I think it would be very, very helpful. So 
Ah, all right, friends. Well, I'm uh, I'm losing my voice a bit, and I have a poker game that I'm feeling very confident about right now. I'm gonna win it. Twenty dollar buy-in, ballers only. So watch out. Um, please do um, check out the sale if you haven't yet. It's going all weekend. Twenty percent off as my last plug. You can get a wicked shirt like this. If you join the email list below, click show more. There's an email list. You enter to win this print from Josh Cole. And if you don't like this one, you can also get the Ratty one. There's two different Ratty ones he made. They're limited edition signed by the artist. He did this painting of Malko and did 25 limited edition prints. He's a very well-known artist, First Nations guy from BC, Josh Cole. So, Someone's going to win this for free, and all you have to do is sign up to the email list. I promise not to spam you or do anything like that. I'll just keep you in touch with what's going on in Rouse Kitchen, and you can win this wicked poster. So please do join the email list. Someone's going to win this thing. And, uh, yeah, please do support the store, 20% off. There's some wicked new designs. Glad I could catch up with people, and I'm glad this thing with the comments like this is working. Straight flush, Rasta. Yes, Chris. I'm going to win it big time. Bonne nuit. Thanks, guys. Good night. Have a great time. Thanks for tuning in. Um, this is great. I got to do this more often. I always say that. I know it's been a couple months since we did it in Jamaica. And thanks to everyone for donating. Big up to Andy Milanakis, who's getting me to get Rati a remote control something. So very cool. Big up to all of you. Have an awesome weekend. Stay safe. Bless up.